Welcome to John Galassi's Waters and Woods. We're at Andy Myers Lodge in Canada. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, we're out that beautiful Andy Myers Lodge on famous Eagle Lake, and I've got my buddy Julian with me. One of my favorite trips of the year, buddy. So happy to be here. You know, this is great musky fishing, great lake trout fishing, great northern pike fishing, but I gotta say right now, the walleye fishing is off the charts phenomenal. Walleyes have been phenomenal, to say the least. Guides coming in, no lie, John. 200, 250, we had groups last week. Wait, wait, wait. 250 walleyes a day? A day. The best was 303 in one day. That's guided, three people plus a guide in a boat. That's amazing. Well, it is, the walleye population, it really has exploded. And that's the beauty. You don't have to be an expert to come up here. You've got great guides, three square meals a day, which I love, by the way, but great guides that'll teach a beginner or an expert or whatever. Exactly. They're all, they're not just guides. These guys are like uh, instructors. You know, whether you're a first time pro, semi pro, know how to fish, or just a kid being a beginner at eight years old, don't know how to hold a rod, the guys work with you you and they'll help you out and you will become a better angler. Hey folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Folks, here's your chance to win a 2023 Wolverine X2 XTR from Yamaha. One lucky winner takes home this incredible machine. This side-by-side -side has maximum comfort, power steering, factory installed winch, and a full dump box. Enter today by going to GillespieFishing.com, click on the Wolverine X2 XTR Sweepstakes Spanner. This Sweepstakes is brought to you by your Yamaha dealer and Fleet Farm. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. A lot of the people that watch your show, I mean, those are the type of customers and clients that we have, right? I mean, good people, care about their community, they're passionate about the outdoors. That's just been a way to have a bond with somebody in a relationship. To truly tell a, a client's story to a jury or a judge and be persuasive, I really think you gotta be able to walk in their shoes and, and, and be able to explain why what happened to them matters. Hey, welcome back. I'll tell you what, folks, one of my favorite days of the year is being up at Andy Myers Lodge in August and fishing with Danny Herbeck. The walleye fishing up here, folks, has been fantastic. Talking to a couple guys at breakfast this morning, I said, how many did your boat catch? 170. Now, is that uncommon? This time of year, no. Okay, and let's talk about the quality of the walleye fishing on Eagle Lake. Truly one of the best lakes in the world for walleye fishing. Would you say it's as good as it was 100 years ago? I'd say the good old days of walleye fishing on Eagle Lake are now. Are now. Yep. That's amazing. And what's your tactic, Danny? Can you use artificials or is it a live bait deal? It's a little bit of everything deal. It's more of a day-to-day -day deal, you know, on just how they're acting and what they do. And sometimes it's even a spot-to-spot -spot deal, you well, know, so. Well, we got a little bit of rain coming today that we'll have to fish in, but we have a special guest with us today, Jeff Kolazinski from Humminbird. So we're going to have some fun. That'll be a good time. Am I going to catch anything? I would imagine. I'll tell you what, folks, that is my third cast of the day, and I am using a jerk minnow, and we have ourselves a pretty nice walleye to start the day. Actually, Danny, this would be considered average, right, buddy? I mean, not bad. No. Nope. And if you're going to eat one, folks, that is what you eat. And I got a Google Eye jig on there and a five inch jerk minnow. Oh, right. Colo, you're hooked up there, I buddy. I am. You know what? When what that, are you using back there, it Colo? It is a slip bobber. We saw some fish out at 30 feet. Yeah, yeah you're going to flip them in. You're going to do the old flipperoo there? All right. Woo. Look at that. Now, Danny laughs at that. He thinks that's a tiny walleye, Colo. Well, 
I would drive 12 hour, hours as a kid to Lake Vermilion to catch this, and it's even less to Andy Myers. Can you Lodge. imagine what I said to Danny in the oh. open that table of guys this morning at breakfast? Oh 173 gosh. walleyes. I would have. I wish I known about Andy Myers when I was a kid because I've never come up here and caught fewer than 40 fish in a day. I asked Danny because he catches a lot of big fish. I said, "Is this a filmer?" And he knows the big rain that's coming, and he said, "Yes, it's a filmer." <laughs> <laughs> you know. Everybody, it is fun to catch big fish, but it's fun just some days to get out and catch a bunch of fish too, you know what I mean? Everybody gets hung up on big fish and that's not always, you know, not always the key. No, that young man this morning that was up here, uh, probably about 12 years old, he caught 55 walleyes yesterday. Yep. He is thrilled, you Exactly, know? that's, you know, big fish aren't always, yeah, it's fun to catch them, but it's not always, not always the answer, you know? Whoa, I do not, whoa, Danny, I don't think this is a walleye, buddy. Holy moly. Pike, you think, buddy? Yep. Look at that. That's a heavy fish, buddy. That's a heavy fish. Okay, Danny, you took me around the other side of the boat, and whoa, that is a beautiful fish. That is so cool, buddy. Now, that is kind of the bonus when you're on Eagle Lake. There's some awful good pike fishing here, too, isn't There's there? There's always, seems like a big pike or two around wherever the walleyes are. That was fun. All right. Hey, we're trying to show this northern pike, and you're too busy back the... there catching a walleye. <laughs> the action's too hot. Well, the smallmouth is mixed in with all the rest of this. It truly is a uh, multi species it deal. It is a multi-species uh, deal. Not, not bad there, Colton. The There's Annie. big bass in here too, but let's it take is. a look at this pike. I mean, this is not big for an Eagle Lake pike, is it? No, it's a slot pike. It's a, in the protected slot that you gotta let go here. And I'm using that Seaguar leader material. I'm, I, I, it's so thin, the gold label, that I can use 12 pound and, and, and the fish still can't see it, but it's strong. That helps with a fish like this. Yeah, I mean, it gets you a few more pike in the boat. It's just that, you know, extra abrasion resistance that the, the Seaguar is, is known for. For, right <laughs> yeah this is so much fun folks really i mean it's every cast that plastic is getting ripped should i try flipping them? i'll net them for you uh, uh, there we go uh, there we go that's the old way to do it right there that's a beautiful walleye danny and uh when when people want to keep their their couple for take home is this a little too on the that's big in side the slot that's, that's a big. slot fish okay so we let this one go oh danny in the back of the boat that one looks like it's pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a decent one. Oh, well, look at the rods bending in half. Those Savage Gear rods are nice, too. I like they them. They are. You know, really for these walleyes. Look at the size of that one. What's that, four or five pounder? That's probably a 26 incher. Boy, that is gorgeous. Now, when you're doing this walleye fishing, Danny, are the big ones hanging out with the little guys? Um, Generally, you'll find you'll find spots that bigger fish like to hang out on. Okay. Or if the bigger fish are on spots, they're not mixed in with the little ones. They're kind of off on their own, and that's you know, and that's another real crucial thing for having the forward-facing sonar is to be able to isolate the big ones off away from the little ones and target the bigger fish. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. <laughs> that one hit twice. And you know, we've talked about this on the show the last couple of weeks, folks. When you're using that plastic and you get hit on the beginning of your cast and you don't catch them, keep your cadence going because of so many times that they'll come back. And Danny, you know, with, with the spot lock, I like to go as light a jig head as possible. I like to go an eighth. Is that would you like to go as light as possible on the jig? Yeah, I mean, it all depends on your water depth and wind, but I mean, eighth quarter, you know, if I get into that 30 foot range, I'll, I'll put on a three eighths at times too, though, you know. Is that a big walleye? Feels decent. Oh, I got bass. A smallmouth bass swimming around with all the walleyes. You know, that is another thing I want to mention about coming up to Eagle Lake at Andy Myers. And you and I have done it together. Smallmouth fish, and there's some tanks in here. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really justifiably what this lake does, but uh, this time of year, they do start to get out on the reefs with the walleyes. Isn't that, you and I have done that in the fall. Yeah. That's a blast. Yeah. Five pounders, right? Lots of them, yeah. yeah. Okay, dude. Let's see, mine is actually, oh, here he comes. Yeah, I don't know if we need the net, yeah, but we'll might as well. Yeah, there. So yeah, I guess we didn't need, need that. that old clamoroo there. That is, that is fun. 
But uh, you know, it is interesting today. You know, you're always prepared with leeches and minnows and everything else. But uh, the plastic's working pretty good today, huh? Yeah, I mean, you have to take into consideration we do have a big front rolling and so these fish are very active right now too. Yeah, and you like catching them on the Kalen's plastic too, don't you? It makes life a lot easier if you don't have to bait up every time. And what I like is when you cast out, you know, you're watching that high-vis cigar line and you see your line jump like that, that's yep. fun, isn't it? It is. What's so cool, buddy, is that every cast you're getting a bite. Oh, Here he is. There's, you know what? Yeah, just uh, there is a beauty. This will put a smile on your face. Now you got Don't some. Don't care who you are. You're gonna keep a, a couple of walleyes to take back for you and Ann, huh? I like fish. I like eating them, and that's a really good one to eat. Danny, is that one uh, all right to keep? Yep. Look at that. I mean, that is really fun. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that one, Danny. That's pretty nice, huh, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. And you know, it is just incredible, folks. I mean, if you're if you want a walleye fish. I mean, and do it every day and catch literally 50 to 100 fish. Eagle Lake is the place to come, like Danny said earlier. And, and you know, I, I don't want to re forget, people have a chance at a trophy here, too. Don't I'm sure we'll get around some bigger ones at Seriously? some point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, how many, like, 10-pounders do you see in a week? Depends on the week and the weather. I mean, yeah. some days you get a, it's, it's fishing. You never know, right? Right. But do you have a legitimate chance at catching a 10, 11 pounder every day you're out for Every sure. day you're out. That, yeah, that's amazing. Colo, nice job there, you buddy. Saw that. You watched that one bite? I did. Oh, that's so fun. Here he comes. And now that's nice a beautiful side. walleye right there, Jeff Kolozinski. That is nice. Hey, you know, you guys are always coming out with new and cool technology over there at Johnson Outdoors. We got a new Minn Kota Altera coming, huh? There is an Altera Quest motor coming. And you're a big fan of the Altera for all those years. The spot lock, the convenience, it stows, it deploys. It just got a lot better. More power, more runtime. And where can they go to take a look at that? MincotaMotors.com will have the full lineup of new motors that you're going to love. Every time I turn around, somebody's got one on. Ooh, there we go, Danny. Look at how pretty these fish are in the water there. There we go. And uh, nice job. But um, no, this is incredible fishing, folks. And um, you know, it, it, what do you? You know, I know that you like to use all different types of bait, but th there is something kind of special about catching them on artificials, isn't there? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it just—I I love the bite. I love the hit. And uh, but again, I want to say that as a professional guide, you're prepared for anything. What do you got today with you? Minnows. We got minnows, leeches, and we got. All the plastics you could dream of. Yeah. And I mean, don't don't forget about like the jig and wrap tile oh, right. style stuff too. Yeah. Like when a lot of times they get out on the big like sand flats this time of year, you can throw jig and wraps at them and really beat up on them too. Yeah. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $67 on the Food Saver vacuum sealing system on sale for $79.99. We were fishing Eagle Lake out of Andy Myers Lodge, an 11 and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, 12 and a half hours from Chicago, and seven hours from Minneapolis. Live imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge to edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must watch detail into non stop action. Only from Humminbird. Folks, you, you see us talking about the Johnson Pump washdown kit every week. On a charter boat, pontoon boat, any boat, it's really a great thing to have. Now, you guys get a lot of blood on your hands, we so do. what do you do? John, this washdown pump right here, the Johnson, just spray it right off. And obviously, we got quite a bit of blood on the back deck, and this thing will take care of it. So you actually use it while we're out here fishing so the customers don't get blood and everything on them. Exactly. And again, that's the Johnson Pump washdown kit. You yep. love it? Love it. Eagle Claw, the pick of the week. The string bobber stop with beads is the best tool to use to help you get the correct height where you need it with your slip bobber. Eagle Claw, the only hook made right here in the USA. 
Here we go, buddy. Here he is. He was right underneath the boat. Look at that. Flipping in big 20 inches like that. That is fun. And uh, what I'm using, folks, as I pointed out before, is just a jerk minnow. But I, I, I like this little eight ounce Google Eye jig. And the beauty with spot lock, folks, is you can cast a lighter jig because you're staying in one place and still get to the bottom. And I'm either casting into the wind or against the wind. Yay, that Cole, was a bite. we're just about to move spots. You know that, buddy? I had to do one more cast. Oh, look at here just he is. Good. Just, I mean, unbelievably Yikes. beautiful fish. And Cole, Ooh, one of good. the other beauties about coming to Ann Mar is you're noticing how wonderful the walleye fishing is, oh. but this is also one of the best musky lakes in the world. Did you know that? Well, I wouldn't mind trying for one of those, but... Well, maybe um, we'll do that for a few minutes yeah, here. These guys are on the menu for us and the muskies, but they're everywhere and it's a fast action Yeah, day. let's go try for for a musky. I like that thought. Well, folks, we caught a lot of walleyes this morning. We're going to switch gears now and do a little bit of musky fishing. And Danny, one of the baits that you love this time of the year is, is the tube, right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a tube, but you know, a rubber style bait that you can, you know, fish a little bit deeper and then speed it up at the boat, you know, just cover the whole water column because some days they're up on the rocks and some days, you know, they're off that first, you know, initial break. Well, let's give her a try. Let's go do it. <laughs> He coming, Danny? Is he coming, buddy? Oh, 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 did, you, did you get him, Danny? I got him. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Woo. What an awesome job, Danny. Yes. Okay, Colo, here's the clam net, buddy. Come on. Here's the clam net, buddy. Oh, is that awesome, Danny? Oh. That was awesome, buddy. Oh, that was so cool how he hit. Oh, my. Is it a big one, Danny? Yeah, it's oh, it's a gorgeous it's musky. A, yes. Look at that fish. All right, Cole, be ready with that big old clamor there, buddy. Ooh, that's a fun oh, game. nicely done, Danny ah. Herbeck. That was oh. cool. And, and you were right. And what you're doing is fishing rock structure, right? Yep. Yeah, and that fish, as you saw, just kind of came up late, and then on that turn, you seen him just shoot, engage the bait. You still get excited? Always. I know, always. that is such a cool deal. Yeah. But you know, a lot of, so many musky guys are all weeds, weeds, weeds. Sometimes rock humps in the middle of a lake can be really good, can't they? Oh, all, all year long. I mean, every day is a, you know, a day-to-day kind of, you got to just figure out what they're using. That was exciting, wasn't it? That was pretty How cool. How many times around? Uh, I think that was the third time. Third time, buddy. Yep. Yeah, let's yep. look at a replay there. Now, when a guy's got one and he hits, which way do you set the hook? Always the opposite way the fish is moving. Opposite way. Yep. You're smiling now. I'm happy. You're smiling. <laughs> Oh, let's take a look at that fish. That is a gorgeous muskie. And Danny, one of the reasons you wanted to switch to muskies for a little bit is because we got a front coming through. We got through. a front coming in, yeah. We haven't had any sort of weather in about 10, 12 days, so it should get them kind of geared up. What was that, about your 15th cast? Yeah, it didn't take very long to start the morning. <laughs> nice job, buddy. Well, folks, we went back to the walleyes after we caught our muskie. And what do you see? Oh, that looks this like way. a pretty good fish there, buddy. Well, now let's so get him in. Daddy, right Nicely on time. Done. Hey, you know I know it's I know it's not always this easy, guys. But Danny saw that weather coming. Let's take a musky break. Go catch a musky. Yes. Catch our musky and come back and catch walleyes, Colo. That's uh, a pretty awesome fishery. Isn't that amazing, buddy? Yes. And that's a beautiful walleye right there. That is, and he's totally nice stuck in the net. But uh, Danny, do you guys do that once in a while? The split the day, do walleyes in the morning? Muskies? Yeah, you can mix it up for you, sure. You can, huh? Yeah. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2023 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Mike Fisher of Mercer, Wisconsin, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass on Little Trout Lake using a worm. Matt Wright of Wanakee, Wisconsin, caught this 37-inch lake trout on the Milwaukee Harbor using a vibrato. Bob Graham of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, caught this 14-inch perch on Lake Michigan using a minnow. Kathy Klepper of Campbellsport, Wisconsin, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass in the turtle flambeau flowage using a leech. And this week's first kid winner is Lucas Schmidt of Iron Ridge, Wisconsin, caught this 13-inch crappie in Okachi Lake using a minnow. And Cade Sorensen of Kenosha, Wisconsin, caught this 11-inch bluegill on a lake using a crawler. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, the Igloo Cool 48-quart cooler is on sale for $24. 99 and the SOG Ninja Tactical Backpack is on sale for $29.99.
I'll tell you what, folks, I've been a proud user of Amsoil for many years, and us sportsmen a lot of times not only have a truck, but a boat, an ATV, a snowmobile. And how do you figure out which Amsoil product to use in each machine? Yeah, that can be a challenge sometimes, and you know, we make it easy. We've got a lookup guide, you just go to amsoil.com, you put in your vehicle, whatever it may be, whether it's a boat, a wheeler, a truck, a trailer, whatever, um, you pick out your product, it tells you how much and which product to put in, real simple. And one thing I want to mention too, Amsoil does a ton of research before you even put the product on the market. You make sure that it's the best. That's correct. It's years in the making for a product to launch. There's a ton of research and development to make sure that it's going to protect like it's supposed to. And folks, to find the Amsoil you want, go to Amsoil.com. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple. It's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough. Safe on fish. Easy to use. And a telescoping handle. Learn more about Portis Nets at clamoutdoors.com. Now I hear that one taking nice. some drag. Is that Dead a nice rock. fish? Yeah, it's a nice fish. I mean, it is amazing, Danny, how many different spots you have on this lake. And how big is Eagle Lake, Danny? I don't know acres wise, but it's 88 miles waterfall to waterfall. That's wow. incredible. And full of big fish, obviously. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. gosh! Oh my Holy gosh, Danny, Danny Herbeck! What? Look at the size wow. of that walleye, Wait Danny! Wait see this thing, it's been eaten. <laughs> that thing is gigantic, buddy. Oh, that is amazing. It's like this thing's been on the food chain eaten. Now how that, hey folks, I'll tell you what, in my opinion, without measuring it, that's a 31 inch fish. It's bigger than that. 32 <laughs> maybe? Long. Oh my gosh, Danny, <laughs> that is unbelievable, my friend. And you know, we talked about it this morning, you got a chance for a trophy. That's bigger than a trophy. Look at the head on that thing. <laughs> Look at that, Danny Herbeck. That wow. is absolutely incredible. And you know, we've caught how many walleyes have we caught that we didn't film today? You know, oh. probably 40. Easy. But I mean, look at the size of that fish. Now he's got a scar on the side. Nice. Did something try and eat that? Yeah. No, it's just a scar. Of him okay, sorry. but I mean, come on, one more hold, buddy. I mean, seriously, how that long is, is that? That's big. That is gigantic. Congratulations, buddy. Now, you got excited with that muskie earlier. I see the smile I on your face. Polo, I said, grab the net. That's the big one. <laughs> yeah. No, that is awesome, my friend. Ooh. We got the rain showers moving in now. We got a nice period here, and Danny's hooked up. Is that a good one, Danny? Feels decent. You need the net, buddy? Well, we'll see. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish, Danny. Nice job there, buddy. And you know, it really is kind of interesting, Ooh, folks, how this bite has shifted this mo from this morning when they were red hot and hitting anything. Well, that was, you're referring to pre-front, right? Yeah, right. The front is here now, so now they're a little bit more on the negative this side. This is obviously, like I said before, you go to the live bait, a little bit more finesse. Huh? Exactly. Oh, oh, nice hook set oh. there. Now you were looking at the Mega Live. What'd you say? I said, Ryan, grab the camera. We're gonna have a big one. <laughs> so you can tell the size of the fish on that. That one I could tell was a good fish. Oh, yeah. Wow. The next thing so I say is like, the rod, I love that. seeing these giants. Oh, look at that walleye there. Look at that walleye. Get him in the clam. Cool. I got one too. I got one too. Well, I don't know if I, uh, let me see here. If I, uh, yeah, I'm trying the old flip a here. There we go. Whoa, flip, flip it in a walleye like that. Well, wow, take a look at this one. And this one is tiny compared to uh, old Danny Hervex back there. Look at that, folks. Unbelievable day. Hold yours up. That is a gorgeous fish, Danny. Now, are there certain spots, I mean, you fish this all your life, that hold big fish and spots that hold eaters? It's seasonal, but yeah, there are certain spots that bigger fish tend to hang out on, but it's knowing when to be there and, and why, right? Yeah, well, that's another gorgeous walleye. That's three back to back to back. Yeah. All about the same size. Well, All we're right. getting near the end of our trip. That's a better fish, The John. end of the day, and, and, and you got a nice one on, huh? I haven't seen it, but yeah, it's decent. Not quite Danny Herbeck, Eagle uh, Lake. Danny's in a class size, of his but, own, but that's a beautiful walleye anywhere you go but there, I'll take guys. It. You know that? 
And it is just amazing, Danny, the number of walleyes in this lake. I mean, you know, I get to fish Lake Erie, the Bay of Green Bay and whatever, but I'll tell you what, you catch just as many or more up here, you know that? Yeah. Well, I mean, the amount of slot fish that we caught nice today, work. like most of the fish, the average fish we caught has been, you know, 18 to 21 inches, and we're not even filming a lot of them, you know? No, I mean, it's been an incredible day. The Cole? action here is incredible. Isn't I mean, it, you sit at your desk all day and you dream about going walleye fishing. I'm not going anywhere else. Danny, can I move in? Do I have to go home? Hey, Dax, I haven't seen you in a year. Have, have you caught any big fish lately? Yeah. What? A muskie. A muskie? How big was it? 53 inches. You did not catch a 53 incher. Yes, I did. Did it pull you in? No. Are you sure? You're while well, you're still here. Yeah. But what was the fight like? Okay, buddy, lift up on her. We got her, Daxie. We got her, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> was that not exciting? I'm shaking so bad. It was very exciting. <laughs> So, I mean, seriously, can you possibly catch a bigger fish than that? Mm, I don't know. I don't either, man. To start out with a 53-inch muskie, give me five, dude. We certainly had an awesome day of fishing, did we not? Yeah, it was, but here's how we top it off. <laughs> Andy Myers Lodge has always got something going good on the grill. And I didn't know this, but Johnsonville's are real popular in Canada? They're very popular in Canada. And you like the regular brats, and how do you cook them? I like to cook them slow heat to start, then turn it up a bit, but don't lose all the juice in it. Keep turning. So low heat so you don't let the skins burst and the juices escape. Right. And seriously though, Johnsonville's are popular in Canada. Very popular. My favorite are the Italian. Oh, okay. Well, you got regulars today. Well, you got a regular brat well, here, Colo. Yes, I do. All right, buddy. It's time, Colo. Best it part of the Johnson Gillespie show. Well. Oh. Great day fishing, great dinner. Julian, I'm coming back. Yeah, those Johnsonville regular brats are awesome, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Hey folks, Johnsonville regular brats, look for them at your favorite retailer today, right? Now. For more information on fishing Andy Myers Lodge, call 888-727-5865. 888-727-5865. John you are a spring walleye fisherman. Grab some of these. They're an incredible bait. Kaolin's rattling Google Eye hair jigs. Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Wow, dude. That is my first cast. Beautiful walleye right there on the hair, man. Perky, lively, smacking hair jigs. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.